Hello, I'm Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author, William Panic. I wanted to talk to you about a very important security issue that is currently going on in the industry. And that security issue is actually called the zero logon security threat. Now, I wanted to take a couple minutes and just explain what the zero logon threat can do, how you can recognize it, and more importantly, how you can stop it from happening. Now, as I stated, I am Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author, William Panic. I have been in the industry for almost 30 years. I have been an IT director and trainer for many years, and I am a five-time worldwide Microsoft MVP winner. So I just wanted to take a few minutes and let's go ahead and let's talk about the zero login threat. Now, the zero login vulnerability is actually a vulnerability that applies to all Windows server versions and it applies to the net logon remote protocol. This vulnerability is known as the CVE 2020 1472 or more commonly what everybody knows as zero login. The vulnerability includes basically the ability to connect and reset passwords to a blank value and then use these accounts to upgrade and become domain administrators. Now, if you're not sure what the net logon remote protocol actually does, Microsoft actually states that the net logon remote protocol is a remote procedure call, RPC, which interface uses user and machine authentication on domain-based networks. So if your network is running a domain that you are actually using the net logon remote protocol. The net logon remote protocol is used to maintain domain relationships between members of their domain and the domain controllers and also between domain controllers for replication. Now catching the zero logon attack can actually be done by using event viewer because the zero logon attack normally leaves a couple clues behind and those clues are you'll see windows event id 4742 a computer account was changed along with event ID 4672, special privileges were assigned to a new logon. Now, something that's really important to understand here is that Windows event ID 4742 can actually happen periodically. This event ID does periodically show up in the event viewer. So this has led to some people believing that more or less they have a false positive, that they've been attacked by the zero login attack when they actually may not have been attacked by it. Normally, this event ID is actually followed by 4672 because special privileges are then assigned to the login. So what is the best way to stop the zero login attack? Well, obviously having your servers with a good antivirus program, Microsoft Defender, but really the most important thing is you need to update your servers. In August, Microsoft put out a security patch specifically aimed at stopping this attack. 
So how do we go through and how do we actually do that? All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually go out to your settings. So you hit start, you go out to settings and then you'll go down to update and security. Now, if you do not have updates already waiting for you, what you'll do is you'll actually check the little box that says the link that says check for updates if you haven't been doing your updates on a regular basis. Once the updates are downloaded to the box and ready to go, all you do at that point is click install now and let the updates go ahead and run through. And at that point, it will go through and it will put stuff onto the box Okay, Microsoft is actually going to stop the zero login attacks from happening by the patches that it puts onto the box. Now, one thing that I strongly recommend, when you're doing your updates on your servers, there are times where certain updates require other updates. So what I mean by that is once all these updates are actually completed, all right, if the server may need to restart or it may not, depending on the updates. At that point, what I normally do is I go back out to Windows Update and I'll actually say check for updates again. Because what a lot of times ends up happening, as soon as you install some updates, other updates then become available to you. But you got to make sure that your servers are completely updated up until today, you now at this point, we're at the end of September in 2020. And so it's very, very important that you get this done. This is actually so important and it's such a problem that last week Homeland Security actually released an article talking about how important it was to get this patch put onto your servers because they are seeing more and more attacks come through using the actual zero login attack. So do your updates. If you think you've been attacked, go out, actually check your logs. All right. Make sure that, you know, you check for your event ID codes again. I'll show them to you again. Event ID 4742. A computer account was changed and then 4672 special privileges were assigned to the new login and as I stated if you happen to see an event ID 4742 before you think that you've been attacked make sure that you know most of the time it comes with event ID 4672 because the privileges at that point have to be upgraded so that they have domain admin rights. So you can go through, you can look at your event IDs and see if your box has been hit. But either way, the way that you need to stop this from happening in the future is you need to make sure that you have a good update program and that you are continually getting your servers updated. And as an IT director and as a former IT admin and an IT member, I know how difficult at times this can be, especially because a lot of updates take some time and they also require machines to reboot at times. So a lot of times this has to be done after hours, but you got to make sure that you get these updates done. Listen, thank you for taking a couple minutes out of your busy day to watch me give you a demonstration on what the zero login attack is all about and how to go through and fix it. I am Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author, William Panic. I look forward to seeing you in one of my classes at Stormwinds real soon. Thanks for watching.